There were some good moments over the course of this season. Gigi Jackson joins us now. Um, okay, you were the youngest player in the league. Let's just start there. 19 years old, just turned it in December. Tell me the best part and the worst part of being the youngest guy. Um, the best part, kind of, that's the first thing what everybody says. Like, if you get a bucket or anything, so I feel like that's pretty cool. But the worst part... Um, they didn't really hit me hard with the rookie hazing, oh. but like uh, with Marcus Smart, I had to go pick up some for him. But for the team, I had to pick up the food for the whole team and <laughs> thing like that. And D Rose, his oh. bag, I always had to carry his bag for him. So you were by yourself. Yeah, yeah until uh, Trey Jemison came. Until Trey Jemison came, yeah, I had to see you. Got double you got it bad. Oh, that's tough. It's yeah. usually three or four of y'all, so y'all can y'all can share the duties. But yeah. being by yourself, that's a bad deal. Damn. <laughs> that's not fair. Um, when guys go out afterwards, what do you do? Do you bother trying to sneak in somewhere, or no? Um, I'm to give y'all the real. I definitely try to from uh, from, <laughs> from college. Well, I was I was a young kid in college, but uh, you know, since I stayed at home, they was able to show show me love and all that. But I'm kind of a homebody. But if there is any opportunity or the slightest chance of me getting in, oh, I'm I'm calling everybody phone like where y'all at, what y'all doing? I'm trying to get in. He's What's in up? the NBA, Michelle. He can get into a club or whatever. Look, I'm a he law abiding citizen, yeah. so I don't know how that works. You pull up no to a club. Lie with... to you. Gigi can get in yeah. any club he G- wants to, <laughs> and he's with D Rose and Jaw. Well, can that's get fair in. too. That is fair. <laughs> okay, you're right, Gigi. Man, look, I was in the, I was in the league when I was 19, um, <laughs> so I can relate. Shit, weirdly enough, we both were 45th picks in the league, and um, I know for me, my draft process, I, I wasn't I wasn't ready. Like I going to my pre-draft oh. workouts, I took it for granted. I didn't understand how important they were. I was just out of shape, and that's why I slid in the draft. Why did you, Why do you think um, you were able to get to the 45th pick and not be a you know a a first rounder or something like that. T- take me through your draft process. Why do you think you went that far? Um, main thing I would say uh, was my attitude in, in college. Um, I never had any regrets in life except for one was when I went live on Instagram and that ruined everything for me. And then uh, it would be subtle little things like the team comes in for a huddle you know I'd be by myself standing on the side and stuff so it was just little things like that and then I was out of shape during my uh, draft workout, so that was really, really bad. But, you know, nonetheless, it all came back together, so. Wait, you're 19, and you had more self-awareness in the last 10 seconds than most people have. Yeah, ever. So well have. done. Well done. Sorry, no, Lou. Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, that's, that's important to understand that, bro, and, and, and knowing that. And I just want to I want to tell you, I, I appreciate how you approach the game. I've seen clips of you watching veterans and watching other guys warm up how they get prepared for games and you soaking it all in bro that's going that's going to be good for you the, all those teams that passed on you you want to you you want to make them feel that you want to make them regret that decision passing <laughs> on you yeah so yeah it, it's, it's been a couple that i've been able to scratch off the list but uh until uh you know big you man go. john come back uh with the rest of our guys we can really mm-hmm. we can really win that's gonna be different. that's what's up what was your welcome to the nba moment um the summer league count yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's part of it. Somewhere on, it's somewhere, somewhere on ESPN's TikTok account. Um, I can't remember Buddy's name, but if you pause it for a sec, you'll see his knee directly in my back <laughs> with everything above his waist up above me like this on a putback dunk. And it was in the big gym in um, in Vegas. It, yeah, it was In bad. Vegas, was yeah. <laughs> JG, back in March, you put up 35 against the Warriors, hitting seven threes. Which, by the way, he's the youngest player to ever hit. That sounds Seven right. plus threes in an NBA game. Wow. What did it feel like doing that against Steph, Clay, obviously great shooters, and your former AAU coach, Chris what? Paul? What? <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> it's, all, it's always a good time getting to uh, play against, uh, I don't know if I should call him Mr. Paul since we're colleagues now. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, still Mr. Paul. But uh, it, it was fun getting out there. Uh, I was scared at first because I, I knew I had to guard uh, Curry the entire time. So it's definitely a couple of clips of me getting lost out there. Uh, you know, him thinking he's relaxing and he's just taking off somewhere else. But uh, 
But I felt my shot going in a little bit. And then uh, we, they got into a little scuffle. And then they knocked over our coach. You know what I'm saying? So I, I had to return with some type of fire back. So. Yeah. Mr. That's Paul, awesome. Coach yeah. Paul, wow. I love this so much. Uh, then you put up 31 against, you know, LeBron James. Uh, no big deal, one mm. of your childhood idols. What is <laughs> that like? I mean, it's just all happening in real time. Um, the, I, I will, t I will tell you, the best feeling in the world is when you watch the uh, the highlights back, and uh, you see the shot going, and you just see everybody on the court from their team just. <laughs> <laughs> They got to get back on defense, mm -hmm. but uh, still feels surreal to this day. Um, I try not to, you know, watch my highlights all the time, but I definitely still do. Uh, you know, I'm still a kid and all that stuff. You know, we look for highlights, different things like that, okay. but it still feels surreal. And I just thank God that the ball was going in that day. Gigi, I'm 35 and retired for three years. I still watch my highlights. He Googles himself <laughs> still, like every day. I just show it to my every kids day. nonstop. I want them to know, that, listen, your dad was the man back in the day. Yeah, they don't believe it. They yeah. still don't believe it. <laughs> hey, Gigi, what, was it any back and forth during that game with, with, with you and Brian? Because um, I know you met him during your AAU days. Uh, it was uh, kind of me like checking on him, not like in a, like an aggressive way. He drove down the middle in transition and I definitely snatched the ball from him. But you know, LeBron, they called a foul. <laughs> and then I, I asked him, I was like, you know, I got you on top of your head. And then he started, he started tapping that ball spot a little bit. He said, yeah, you got me, you got, you got me a little bit. But uh, that, that was pretty much about it. Don't bring up the, the ball spot, so. <laughs> nah, he's you still got, the king, that's so where the crowd used to your... sit. <laughs> hey, you, I like that, I've never heard that before, bro. <laughs> I love it. I'll ride with that. Yeah. So you got, you got your LeBron highlight. Um, you got your Coach Chris Paul highlight, and I know that's a big one because I coach AAU. I coach AAU girls, so if I ever have a moment where one of my girls is pro and I'm anywhere around, that's going to be a major accomplishment. So that's dope as hell. Who else is on your hit list of idols that you want to <laughs> you want to put on your hit list? Who else you got on there? Um, it's going to be super tough. Uh, uh, Kevin Durant for sure. Okay. Um, Doable. Uh. I've gotten to play Tatum, but uh, that was bad. He he gave us <laughs> he gave us uh, thirty six and, and three quarters. Ooh. I want to say, yeah, it, it was one. It was one of those nights. Uh, but KD, Luca, um, and definitely Kyrie. I, I haven't got to uh, play GG. Those All right. Whatever you do. Do not call any of them Mr. before the game. Now, yeah. after the game, <laughs> in the hallway, yeah. you can show your proper respects. Please do do not call exactly. them Mr. before the game. They will attack you, I promise you. Because I've been the first one. If you'd call me Mr. Williams before we play, oh. I'm on your ass. Uh, full uh, full uh, do it, you chicken. He called him Mr. Williams before we went on the air, and Lou is really not feeling it right now. <laughs> just know, that's that's my bad. That's my bad again. That's my bad again. JJ, <laughs> you also played against Wimby and the Spurs twice this year. What was it like going up against him? Have you ever played someone like him <laughs> that length and that size that can, the shit he can do with the basketball? Um, it only reminds me back, I was in sixth grade. I played for uh, Team USC Unleashed. It was uh, like a big AAU team that was put together here in uh, Columbia. And, Damn, um, why are we showing this? We played, uh, Just because it's nah, a moment. That, that was, that was one of the plays he talked trash to me. But uh, <laughs> we had, uh, we played this Canadian team and they was lying about their ages. So, that was like the only closest thing I got to Wimby until I got to play him. And I will say, this is very, very biased, but he, to me, he's gonna be the greatest player to ever play this game, like in it. my opinion. In I my like opinion. Why do right. you think so? Yeah, why? What do you, what, tell us some of the intangibles, why do you think so? Uh, Cause I'll be, I was a hater when he came in. I'm like, oh, he's not too strong. <laughs> Well, what does he do against bigger big? Just blows bottom. I said his handle wasn't that crazy. They gonna poke it. He's doing sham guys from the three-point line, ending up at the layup. I said he couldn't shoot that good. He fast break transition, pulling up from volleyball line. So he literally has every. The only thing that can stop him is himself, hmm. and um, how complacent he gets, or like how hungry he is for. It. And uh, from from the looks of it, you know those overseas guys, they don't they don't really take things lightly. So he's coming for it all. Nice. Well, talk Does he talk trash yeah. in English or is it in French? That's what I want to know. What does he say? <laughs> It, it, it's definitely in English, but it, it's like it's very light whispers. It, it's so light whispers until like he gets Tim in Duncan one. That's when he'll really yeah yeah yeah. I, I saw the video. I can't remember who was talking about Tim Duncan, but uh, <laughs> he'll be like you know like why why do they keep going up on me? Like, 
Why are they trying to lay the ball up on him? And then he'll yell at one of the teammates like, ball! And then he'll really, like, use his voice. But uh, yeah, he, he's, awesome. fun. he's funny it, to be on the court with, though. Just class, class, class. Yeah, Gigi, so is it true that Giannis pinched you during a game? <laughs> yeah, yes. Right here. Right here. What is he on? What? I was, excuse me. What? I gotta check okay. my mama. I gotta check my mama. Okay. I was gonna, busting we his We're gonna keep a respectful mama. I, yeah. yeah. I was busting his <laughs> And uh, I, kept, I kept coming off, like, shooting quick threes. And so, um, when Pat Bev subbed into the game, he was like, nah, nah, you know, I got him, I got him. And I blew by him. So, Giannis, they was full denying. And, like, anytime I would move, he would just grab my side and, like, squeeze oh, so hard. It, it hurt so bad. Is that a thing? He got, he got that from PB. He got that from Pat Bev. Pat Bev used to do that to me in practice. <laughs> really? And I used to get dead serious with him. I was like, Pat, stop that shit, bro. Stop. Mm. Does it leave a he mark? Get, he get it from Pat. Is it hard enough to leave a mark? Yeah, he just, he'll just, he yeah. like, if you're taking if the ball out nails. on the side or something, uh, yeah, he'll just clamp it. He'll just clamp into your skin mm -hmm. and get a reaction out of you. I'm not feeling that, yep. and I don't love it. Uh, after you played nah, against Dylan Brooks, you called him a weird player, which I think is <laughs> putting fair. it's putting it lightly. Um, <laughs> what did what makes him weird to you? Yeah, it's fair. It's it's a good description. Why is he weird? Um, I mean, he he's still one of the few players that goes double arm sleeve. You know, <laughs> that's that's kind of that's kind of weird. With the pads there, but, too. With the pads. Yeah, with, with the, the pads. pads. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, but uh, he is weird because like, if he's off on one thing, say like he can't really finish that that good tonight, for some reason, he is so much better at all the other things that he needs to be good at. But if he's off on those things, like he's never off on everything, in my opinion, um, especially defensively, it's, it's very hard to see him take plays off, and. Um, I've learned a way. I use it on the uh, my my homies down here when we get to play. Sometimes, anytime they go to shoot the ball, I'm either going like slightly tap your elbow right here or like graze it on the side or something like that. Like he has the weirdest ways of getting you like out of like getting you uncomfortable when you shoot the ball. So, did you ask him really to follow you on Instagram at the free throw line? <laughs> And yes, and he, he he really looked up at me like this, <laughs> and then kept going. Did he follow you? <laughs> Uh, I think he did. Nice. Yeah, I think he did. Then I think it he did. Do you guys, I, I've always wondered that. Do people pay attention, like, who's following? Do you go scroll every once in a while and be like, oh, nice, okay, so-and-so's following me. I do, for sure. <laughs> I, don't, okay. I don't know who, who I love, Gigi, I, I, I love how genuine and honest you are, bro. Never change, please. Never. Um, Gigi, in the, final, in the final game of the season, you dropped 44 points <laughs> on the Denver Nuggets. Was that you were just in the zone? You were feeling it? Tell us about that game, because that was a hell of a game. Uh, yeah, you, you just said it like in the flow. I was uh, got going pretty early, and um, really, uh, my shooting coach Anthony Carter. We were for some reason that early morning, like, I couldn't hit a shot, so we we literally worked on like having the ball tap my hip and then bringing it up because I usually like wind it up. So we had to just work on keeping it on this side, and uh, everything felt warm. I still shot four for like thirteen from three. But it still felt good to shoot them. You did get but, up 36 um, of them things that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. But a uh, very Ty. surreal moment, but a uh, huge blessing from God nonetheless. And uh, hopefully I can just recreate those, you know, later in the line down my career. Love that. Next season, you got uh, you got Ja returning. Um, you got Desmond Bain returning. Triple J is coming back. How do you fit in a mix with, um, you know, your top three guys being back in the lineup? How do you think you fit in that mix? Um, attacking closeouts, uh, if I'm on one, shooting the, the catch and shoot, because um, I got it from Lou Kennard and somebody else. I call them non-seers. Like, this is not a contest. Like, this is a contest to you. So uh, just being able to get my shot off really fast. Definitely corner threes. Uh, kind of like a, a, M, a MPJ role, but more like dialed okay. down. Because uh, he can get a shot off on anybody. So, uh, yeah, kind of like that, but more. You can down. too. What you mean? Mm -hmm. You can too. It won't be 36 I'm trying. attempts. I'm trying. But you're going to be able to do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I, it's kind of crazy you haven't gotten to play with Ja yet. So, I, I would imagine that's a pretty exciting thing to think about. What, when you were drafted, draft night, did he FaceTime you? Is that a real story? Yes, yeah, like? no, he was the uh, first person to call me. I got in the car, and uh, he could tell I was a little bit mad, but. Uh, 
he was like, you know, uh, South Carolina got a country. And they all oh, welcome to the crib, man. You know, so you get up to Memphis, we're going to show love. So you're going to get you here, 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 there. So, uh, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Um, we've been, this is a Chandler thing, too, by the way. So there's this debate, and it will never die. It's the whole, who would have more success, NBA players in the NFL or NFL <laughs> players in the NBA? Where do you stand on this topic? Hey, be careful with this one, because um, the NFL players, they starting to get sensitive. Yeah, they're, start, yeah, they're starting they to start, really? they're start, they're starting they get, starting to get sensitive. Uh, Before you answer, you, my point is, yeah, my does. point is, okay, how tall are you? You're six, six, eight, six, nine? Six, nine. Six, yeah, yeah, six, eight, six, nine. And you know how to run, cut, catch, jump, pat. Not discrediting what NFL players are. Now, I don't know if you can take a hit from Fred Warner going up the middle. That's a whole <laughs> other thing. But I'm saying skill-wise, the skill that NBA players have, just of the, that, is so far better than the toughness and the injuries that I think would would struggle with. So I think someone like you, Draymond Green, Anthony Edwards, they could transition just because of the sheer talent if they worked on the other stuff, to me. Basketball, like Micah Parsons, you watch Micah and CJ and Puka play in the All-Star Weekend? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best three Puka that they're putting wasn't out there. was awful. But they, 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 they wouldn't start on University of Cincinnati right now. How are they gonna make the NBA? Like, it's, 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 it's ridiculous. <laughs> So, so, okay, so you've heard Chandler's All right, so yeah, argument. I, I, it gets me riled up. He really gets worked up. And now the NFL up. players are getting pissed. I'm like, but we get it. We're soft. We're soft, but you hey, guys can't hey, shoot. Hey, Chandler, let's not, listen, Chandler, let's not get Gigi caught up in our viral <laughs> moments. Let Gigi live, man. They are Let getting sensitive, it. though. Because as soon as he get off of air with us, his Twitter going to be going crazy. <laughs> let's just go viral we'll protect on our him. own. We'll Leave Gigi out of it. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> we got um, you, bro. Got uh, you. We've, everyone's talking about how, you know, oh, the superstars aren't in the playoffs right now. Well, personally, I I've enjoyed them immensely with or without. So I think this this young group of guys coming up are so exciting. When you watch these young guys, the ants, the SGAs, what do you see? Who, who's your Mount Rushmore of up and comers? I hate to say up and comers. I mean, they're here. They're here. Um, Mount Rushmore? How many? How, four. Um, History is my favorite subject, but I don't know how <laughs> four, much. Four. Is four. We'll give you four. four. You need five. Is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it may be biased, but I got to go with my teammate, my point guard, Ja. Definitely Ant. Um, it's, it's a lot. See, that's where he's dicey. I'm, going, I'm yeah. going Jalen Green. I ain't going to count. Okay. He went crazy. Like, the last, like, two okay. months in the season, he, he did have a great stupid. end of season. Um, you like hoopers. And, uh, yeah. You like flat-out hoopers. And, that's just and Victor. Oh, yeah, and duh. Victor. Yeah. It's almost like and we I, forget. And think about it. He didn't say... SGA, like, think that's just how good that's hard. That's, that's I'm how, telling yeah. We're in talent, good hands. Talent is next level. We are in good hands. Man, this has been awesome, Gigi. We appreciate the time. Like Chandler said, never change, but also Please. never call Please me no. ma'am again, or we're going to have real oh, problems. I just, I'm sorry. Real problems. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm kidding. Right, you're right, polite. Right, There's right, nothing right, wrong right. with it. <laughs> we appreciate it, man. Enjoy the good off luck, season. Good luck, Gigi. Yeah, you're yes, awesome. Sir. Thank you all so much for having me. We'll appreciate take a quick break. We'll be back with more Run It Back.